Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm joined by Rico. Today, we're gonna go quill hunting. When we entered the hunting area, we just spooked like eight quills, which looks promising. There's a lot more quills out here than last week. Hopefully we can get some more down in the ground for you guys. You guys stay tuned. So Rico's in the other side. Last time we were here, some quills chilling down here. Let's see if they come out. Nothing. Yeah, I see small birds. Check right here too. Bro. I swear, one more week, all them doves are gonna go down. <laughs> We're approaching the bush of dreams, where a lot of quills like to come out of. We'll see if they come out here. She empty. Everywhere, literally, could shoot that. I could throw a rocket and kill it. <laughs> There's more doves in there. Literally, boom, boom. If another one comes out, could chow it. <laughs> Ingles are coots. We can hunt them. Yeah, there's some coots down here. They're in the nasty water. Nasty water, yeah. We could hunt them. So we did some research right now and, well, coot season is active right now. So if we see the coots again, we're gonna take a shot at them and see if we can get some down on the ground. You guys stay tuned. So there's three coots down there. There's a lot of wasps on. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're out. There's way too many wasps. Got one. Now to try to retrieve them. That's the real question. I'm gonna try again. They started flying, so I shot. With the stick. <laughs> With the stick. Let's see how deep it is. like two feet deep I see him I did shoot him you know where he is yep straight down there I think I shot two I see him. straight down there you see black oh yeah, yeah. all right I'm gonna try to get there you don't know how deep is that other side I don't can you jump it? There's a log right there. I don't think it's stable. Yeah, it's not stable now. Can't you run it over? Or I can try to get on the side. It's gonna be hard. I'll try. Yep. Uh. 
Yep. <laughs> I got another one. No, I did, sir. Yes, sir. That's deep as hell. Um, I'm in need a longer stick. My stick fucking ripped. <laughs> I almost fell. No, I almost fell. I need a bigger stick. Yep, quite a shot. Yep, it was two of them. Got two coots on the ground. Oh, <laughs> Good now. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so finally got two coots down on the ground today. It's my very first waterfowl bird to get in my life. One of the coots, he was really big. Another one's like pretty small, but they're both eating size. And we're gonna eat coot for the very first time. They're in there. I don't know what to expect um, about the breast meat that's gonna come out of this coot. It might be fire, it might not be, but we're gonna see if coot tastes good or not. I'll see you guys when I'm back home. So we're back home now. We've got ourselves the coot. We're gonna start off cleaning the biggest one that we got today. To be honest, I've never cleaned the coot before. It's gonna be my first time. I'm gonna try to breast it out like a dove. The neighbor dog is going off. <laughs> the coot is pretty fluffy. It's my first time like actually like feeling it. It's pretty fluffy. It's oh, interesting. It's it's fluffy. It's kind of like waterproof. I don't know much about coots, but what I do know is that you can hunt them right now. <laughs> That's what matters. So like I said, I'm gonna breast them out and try to see what kind of meat comes out. So this was the meat that we were able to take out from the coot. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it does smell fishy though. That's, that's very concerning. It does smell very fishy. But we're gonna try our best to make this edible and not taste like AIDS. <laughs> so we started thinking how we're gonna cook this coop and we're very concerned about this. <laughs> We've been having it soaking in the water for like 10 minutes and the water turned black and gray. So we're just gonna keep on soaking it overnight, change the water when needed, and hopefully tomorrow we can cook it and make it taste a bit better. Do you think it's gonna taste good or no? I like a 50-50 chance probably, but who knows? Yeah, same with me. It can either be fire or it could be AIDS. Depends how we cook it or how is it gonna be cooked. Yeah, we're thinking in between deep frying the coop or just straight up cooking it with butter and some seasoning. With that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow.
All right, we're back, guys. We got here the two coops. They look a bit more appealing. They're not as dark as they were yesterday. The seasonings that we have today is some oregano and some duck all meat seasoning. We're gonna mix the two, this grinder. Hopefully it makes the coot taste a little bit much better. Shit. I'm not sure how much to put with seasoning, so I'm gonna just guess it. Gotta put a good amount. To put a good amount of all meat seasoning on this towel so I can easily pour it into the grinder. And now for the oregano. Oh, that smells good. The good. seasoning. The seasoning and the oregano. I Ooh, feel like it's gonna taste good. That smells good. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna have a like little pinch, not have it overpower the all meat seasoning. And now to grind it up. That smells fire, bro. That is strong. It came out all powder. And now to pour it on top of the coop. Hopefully, it's not too much seasoning, but just enough. Pat it in together. That's solid, dude. That's. I feel like we got the good amount of seasoning. Yeah. And then collect all the seasoning that fell off. And now we have it flipped. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Pat it again. And so I don't waste any more seasoning. I'll just dump the rest on top. Damn, that's a good amount. It is. We wanna make sure this doesn't taste cheeks. We want it to taste good. Cheese. That was fire, bro. Now that we have it seasoned up, we're gonna cook it with some butter that I have. And hopefully, this doesn't come out bad. It tastes pretty good. The seasoning smells fire. What's your prediction on how this is gonna taste? Hope it tastes good. That's what's up. Better have like a good taste to the meat. Hopefully. That's what we hope. That's what we hope. So I'm gonna start with some butter on the pan. It's pretty hot. Hopefully, I don't burn myself. That is really hot. Throw some more on. Now for the coots to go into the pan. And now we're gonna wait for like three minutes or so for them to cook and we'll be back. So the coot finally finished cooking and we're gonna see how the meat looks like from the inside. Make sure she, she well done now. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sniff. It doesn't smell that bad. No? It smells like a steak. Mm. Dude, that smells like a steak. That, that smells pretty good. Now here comes the tasting part. Will we die from eating this or not? <laughs> <laughs> I want this piece. And I want this piece to play it safe. Sounds good. No. It doesn't smell gamey. It smells like a burger. Like from McDonald's. It smells or like a burger? Yeah, like the meat, the patty. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get right into it. It's good. Whoa, that's a lot of seasoning. Ooh, I see the oregano. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. It was good. It was good, but not gonna lie. It was good at first, and then it started hitting me. The taste of the coot. I kind of threw up a bit right now, but I might have gotten a bad piece from the coot. I'll try the other one up here. But before I do that, what's your thoughts about the coot? Kind of like that. I didn't taste the coot. I mostly taste the seasoning. So, you taste the seasoning? The, I mean, it did give me a little taste of a coot at the ending, but, but really, it was really good. Yeah, it, it, it tasted pretty fishy. Not gonna lie, the, the internet didn't lie about that. I still have the taste of the coot, but like I said, it was probably just a bad piece that I got. I'm gonna try this one now. Mm. 
There's a lot of seasoning. Bro, that piece tastes way better than the other <laughs> half. I don't know if it's because of this piece being more thinner than this piece, or uh, I'm not really sure how to explain that. But it's pretty good. It's not chewy. Pretty tender. My honest opinion about the coup is that I wouldn't recommend it to a person that doesn't like the taste of game. But if someone does like game, this is the bird that you should eat. My final thought is that the coup was all right. I'll give it a six out of 10. It wasn't that great, but maybe next time we'll cook it some other way, maybe deep fry it, you know, a little cane sauce <laughs> on it to make it taste a bit better. Uh, your final thoughts? It was really good. I liked it. You know, I don't think it, it. I don't think it needs another seasoning or anything like that, but it was good. Well, that was all for today's episode. The coop wasn't the best, but tasted all right maybe next time we'll cook you some other way but overall that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one peace